Hello and welcome to San Fran Fitness. Today's rebounding workout is a bounce and weights hit. We're going to be alternating between one cardio move on your rebounder and then dropping down onto the mat and going with a heavy weighted exercise as well. The whole idea of this is to really go for it today. So do challenge yourself please with the weights. I'm going to be using a four kilo. We're working for 45 seconds with a 15 second recovery. So get yourself all set up, make sure you've got water. If you are in a hot country like me, it is warm already this morning. So maybe you might want a little towel as well to mop that brow as we sweat away. Okay, let's get ourselves organized and come and do this with me. Okay, let's just begin with a little rock side to side. So we're going to start off with a short warm up. Get the lymphatic system moving, the blood pumping, and our muscles awake and ready to work nice and hard today. Okay, so let's think about our posture, tucking up through the core, keeping that nice bend through the knees. Shoulders are relaxed, but we're not hunched over. Our chest is open and proud. Okay, let's take a basic bounce. Just gently lift the arms. Good. Let's circle one arm back. Good. Basic bounce again. Lift. going to take one arm out to the side. Back to your basic, lift the arm. Okay, let's reach it up. Reach, reach. Good, basic again, lift. Okay, are we starting to get a little bit warmer now? We've just got another minute to go and then we're going to get cracking, starting off with our cardio. Good, roll a shoulder. I've got a little mosquito that wanted to land on me there. Not today, sunshine. I am prepared. Good, back to your basic and lift. So our first move today is going to be a rude boy. You're going to get a little picture that will come up in the corner telling you what the next move is. Okay, rock it out, side to side. Let's push, move those arms. All right, get yourself prepared. Here we come for that rude boy. So making that little turn, Right row with the arms. You can put as much sass into this as you wish. Remember with hit, we want to work as hard as we can for that short period of time. Down. 
Now we're going to go with a dumbbell swing. If you've chosen to go light, that's absolutely fine. So this one, it's all about tucking in the core, keeping the rest of your body as still as you can, just really working the arms, isolating the shoulders. And we've got that little pause at the top, just for effect. Now, if you're not used to using heavy weights, just have a lighter option available. You can always swap it over. Good, pop those weights down. Back up on our rebounder. Okay, this next one. Quarter turns on the leg curl with a bounce. Curl, turn, one, two, three, four. Curl, turn, one, two, three, four. Tonight. We're gonna make it happen, y'all. We're gonna make you feel right. Uh -huh. We're gonna rip it till it feels the same. We're gonna show the party people that we got game. That's right. The party's gonna be on tonight. We're gonna make it happen, y'all. We're gonna make you feel right. Uh -huh. We're gonna rip it till it feels the same. We're gonna show the party people that we got game. down with that curl. Now the wider you go with the legs, the yeah, more we're yeah, going to work yeah. the inner thigh as well. Three bounces and a crisscross to take the arms out. We go one, two, three, cross. Oh, oh, you feel that right in 
your glutes, don't you? Okay, back up. Two jacks. We're going to work on quarter turns. Jack, turn. other side to do with that lunge. Obviously the heavier the weight, the more off balance you're going to be put. So it's going to be hard sometimes lifting that leg. You want to ground that supporting leg. Okay, let's get those kicks in. Now, easier option is going to be kick, kick. Okay, harder option. We're going to take windscreen wiper arms and kick those legs. Remember, take breaks when you need it today, especially with water as well. over. Now my stomach is drawn in. I've got a slight bend in the knees. If this gets too much on the shoulders, go singles. Yeah, that's okay. Especially if you're going for that heavier weight. Sweat is starting to pour already. How are you doing at home? Oh, excellent job. Okay, back up. Knees. We're going to go with the right knee, first of all, on this one. Arms come out. You're going to pull it back towards you. So I've got my hands flexed, adding a little bit more tension there. Good, try and keep the arm up. Lift that knee as high as you can. Okay, we've got a 
little squat with a shoulder press. So just taking one weight, squat, tap and press. If you're on a lighter weight, go for both of them. Good. All right, new move today. Clock switches. Okay, so arms go out. So clenching the fists. Keep those movements strong. about it too much this one. Oh, that's one for the brain, isn't it? Okay, tricep kick back with a little lunge leg lift as well. Okay, right leg goes forward. You're going to kick and then just lunge back. So kicking up with leg and triceps. Now if you have gone heavy, again, it's another one to work on for balance. If you don't want the lunge, that's fine. Hold that position and just kick it back with the arms if you just want to focus on those triceps. real 
glute activator as well. Okay, ski. We're going to ski to the right. Right arm is going to go like your windscreen wipers. If you have a big rebounder like me, try and use as much of that surface area as you can. Flowing like a little river. Okay, well done. Triceps again. This time we've got left leg forward. is to just hold it, make sure that your knees are not over your toes. Just focus on something for your balance. Oh, wow. Little killer. Okay, back on that ski. This time we're going to be going to the left. in both weights it's just a pulsing squat nice and simple so take that wide stance you can either have the weights like this or you can turn them tuck in under with the pelvis again you don't have to go low I can feel this already. Ooh. Make sure your shoulders are back, your abs are in. Oh, is it burning yet? We're back on those knees. Right knee. We're going to go for three and turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three. Keep this going. Well done. 
All right, rows. Take one weight. I'm going to use the rebounder. Kneeling. Other leg goes out to the side. And we row. You can go fast or slow. It's up to you. one squeezing it as you bring it up oh. quick little wipe down Okay, we're back on those knees. This time, left side. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. rhythm. Whoa. If you lose it, it can make you go a little bit quicker, but it's okay. We can do this. Don't go too slow either, because that's actually harder. Whoa. Okay. Come down. Right. Right bicep curl. Left leg, you're going to raise. Pull in that core. So it's a lift and lower. Now with that leg, I'm trying not to put the foot down.
going to bring right knee across. I want you to work as hard as you can with this one, arms and legs. center, change legs. Now, this is slow because I want you to feel it. Okay, 
come back down. This time we're flying. Both legs go up. We're going to drop one leg, bring it back up with the arms, drop the other leg. that little pause for effect as we take the arms and the legs down. Ten seconds. Okay, last one. I'm going to place one weight down just using one, a pelvic thrust, lift, bend through the triceps, back down, lift, bend, and squeezing everything. Again, if you're lighter on the weights, hold both. All right, well done. Okay, both weights can go down. Okay. All right, coming onto your mat. Well done today. So, so good. Okay, let's take a little downward dog. Just walk it through. Oh, I've got an engagement for ants. Maybe they know something that I don't know. Maybe we can get some rain. Okay, walking the hands up towards the feet. Okay, you're just going to hold it here. Bending through the knees if you need to. Don't overstretch on the hamstrings and then very gently you just going to roll up, circle, come all the way down again. This time you're going to step one leg back so that we are in a lunge position. Just hold it here. Feel that lovely stretch on the hip flexors and then we're going to straighten that front leg, push it back, good, and then step in, that foot up towards the other one, take a little bend here, rolling up, step with the arms, we go back down, and this time we step back on the other leg. Off my nose. Oh, these are big ants as well. If they bite, they're going to hurt. Okay, sit it back. Straighten that leg. If you can't, drop down to the knees and then straighten it back this way. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, bend through the knees. Step through, take that little forward fold. And then you're going to see if you can just straighten up through the legs and just lift up one arm. We're going to like alternate it so you get that nice stretch through the upper body, opening up through the chest. rolling up, make sure that your head is the last thing to come up. 
circle the arms. And then we're going to sit on our trampoline. Now, you can either hold onto the back of your trampoline and then just push forward and lift up. Okay, this would mean that we're stretching through the quads or you can lie down, take one leg and then just hold behind. So it's whatever feels good for you and your ability. either swing it round or just take a little breather if you're in that kneeling position and then just go again reaching this time with the other arm Wonderful rest of your day.